His nine-year-old daughter, Gianna, mimicked her dad's serious face on TV. Kobe's wife, Vanessa, posted the adorable video on her Instagram account. Doesn't get much cuter than little Mamba imitating her dad. Before Gianna Bryant would be born into one of the most influential sports families of the 21st century. Before Gigi Bryant would be caught courtside with her father, absorbing the game of basketball at every single opportunity. There's Mr. Bryant. It's his daughter Gianna, they're sitting beside him. Before Gigi planned on revolutionizing the sport of basketball for women the world over. Kobe's daughter wanted to be just like her dad. Yep. She wanted to rule the WNBA and I think she was gonna get there. And that's what makes this day even more tragic because you know, you knew she was coming. You knew she had her dad. You was gonna be, you were thankful and you were gonna be so great to see her one day get to WNBA. Uh, and to have a life taken like that is it, just, it's just sad. Now it goes without saying that the last thing that someone wants to be well known for is passing away before their time. And it's an extremely unfortunate thing that for Gigi Bryant in many ways, well that's exactly what happened. But a tragic death is not all Gigi was. Now in the short span of time that she was alive, well Gigi left her mark on the planet and the world of female sports. Now her dad, he often doted on his athletic daughter, posting videos to his massive social media following about her gameplay. Much like her remarkable father, Kobe Bryant, well Gigi, she was a force of nature that could not be denied and we think it's only fair that we do our part to spread a little light on her story during these tragic and tough times. What's going on guys, it's Michael McCrudden and today I'm taking a look back at the short but very sweet life of Gigi Bryant, here for you and before they were gone. Now earlier this week we released a 20 minute video honoring the late and great Kobe Bryant and we make these videos with the utmost respect and deep condolences go to the family and loved ones of all involved in this tragic crash. All right, let's get into this video. Gianna Marie Onro Bryant was born on May 1st, 2006 in Orange County, California. Now her father, Kobe Bryant, he was entering his 10th season playing for the Los Angeles Lakers at the time of her birth. Now her mother, Vanessa Bryant, had formerly worked as a model. Now the two, they initially met on the set of a music video where Vanessa, she was a dancer, and Kobe, he was there while considering a career as a rapper at the time. Now Gigi, she was raised with an older sister, Natalia. She also had two younger sisters, Bianca and Capri. Now she also is the granddaughter of Joe Jellybean Bryant and the great niece of John Chubby Cox. Now needless to say, basketball was everywhere around her growing up and dad, well, he got her involved in all of it. Now her father, Kobe, he was a hero and the reason Gigi started playing basketball in the first place. Now Bryant, he once said, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. She started out playing soccer, which I love, but she came to me about a year and a half ago and said, can you teach me the game? I said, sure. We started working a little bit and the next thing you know, it became a true passion of hers. So it's wonderful. She played for both the Harbor Day School team in Corona Del Mar, California and the Mamba Sports Academy. That was on the competitive team with the club, the U10 through U15 levels. Now Kobe, ever the loving father, well, he was her coach at the Mamba Academy. It was always Gigi's intention to play college basketball at the Powerhouse University of Connecticut, or UConn, as it's otherwise affectionately known. The Huskies have lifted a record 11 championships over the years, and many of Gigi's favorite players had UConn ties, like Gabby Williams, a current WNBA player for the Chicago Sky. Now Gabby, she had this to say about Gigi. From what I saw, she was gonna be heaps better than me. She had the right mentality, so confident, relentless, so mean and aggressive. And then she would walk off the court and the biggest, sweetest smile on her face. But my favorite part about her was seeing how much she loved the game and loved to learn. It's intimidating to have to follow in those footsteps. Now that's massive praise coming from someone as decorated as Gabby Williams. Now UConn was aware of Gigi's affinity for their school and paid a fitting tribute. Now soon after her death, they draped a number two jersey with a bouquet of flowers across the team's bench. Number two was the number Gigi wore during her games. Now Harbor Day School also retired her number in a ceremony attended by her mother, Vanessa. Number two jersey for Gianna that uh, we have framed and we will be hanging in the gym. She was regularly seen attending games at UConn, the WNBA, and Lakers games as well, always with Kobe at her side. Kobe and his daughter in the building. 
breaking down the game. I love, I love this. When asked about the idea of his children carrying on his legacy in the world of basketball, well, Kobe, he had this to say. Do you think your daughter might want to play in the WNBA? She does for sure. She does? Like, I, I don't, I mean, this, this kid, man. She's Wouldn't like, that be great? Dude, man, I, I'm telling you. The, be the best thing, the best thing that happens is when we go out and, and, and fans will come up to me and she'll be standing next to me and they'll be like, hey, you gotta have a boy. You and V gotta have a boy, man. You have somebody carry on the tradition, the legacy. She's like, oi, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, boy for that, I got this. <laughs> like, that's right. Yes, you do. You got this. According to Kobe, Gigi would practice two hours a day and it showed. Now the girl, she has oodles of talent and a jumper that was already looking as smooth as her five-time champ of a father. The Black Mamba had a little Mamba Sita all his own. Now in an interview, Gigi, she once told Las Vegas CBS affiliate, I try to watch as much film as I can. More information, more inspiration. A protege of Kobe without a doubt, UConn star, and then a WNBA professional. Who knows what could have happened from there? We could have even seen Kobe coaching her at that level as well. Now, it certainly was a possibility. In a perfect world, the two of them would have brought a level of exposure to the WNBA and the world of women's basketball that had never existed before. The possibilities with these two working side by side, well, they were endless, which makes what happened, well, all the more tragic. Now, on January 26, 2020, while on their way to one of Gigi's basketball games, well, the helicopter carrying Gigi, Kobe, and seven others, mothers, fathers, and daughters and all, well, it crashed into the side of a mountain in Calabasas. Everyone aboard lost their life. On February 7th, Kobe and Gianna, they were buried in a private funeral in Pacific View Memorial Park in the Corona Del Mar neighborhood of Newport Beach, California. Now a memorial service will be held on February 24th at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Now some people will tell you it's better to be a star and burn out brightly than to fade away. Now usually I understand that statement, and I think it goes without saying that in the short time that she was on this planet, well, Gigi, her star, it shone very brightly. Most kids in her situation, being the child of one of the most famous people on the planet, well, they recede into the background and are content living in the shadow of the much more famous parent. But Gigi, well, she was never like that. Though she was always front and center with Kobe, proving that she belonged right there with them, at his side. And now, well, that's exactly where she'll be forever. Rest in peace, Gigi. We're all thinking of you down here and lamenting what could have been with your remarkable talent. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. Um, man, I'm just back from a holiday, and this is like the third before they were gone. Obviously, we make biographies, but 2020 has been kicking our ass. This is uh, very sad, very tragic stuff. Uh, please leave your condolences in the comments down below. We do these videos because a lot of people want to know more about these people. You know, we, this is a celebrity channel. The the biographies we do go into to great detail and uh, well, we think it's a fitting tribute. Anyways, um, that's it. I'll see you guys in another video. Okay, bye. And also, hug your family, guys. You know, because when you have the chance, don't miss it.